In our previous classes, we had seen how to install the Postman application on our computer. Also, we had seen how we can make use of the web-based Postman client on your browser and access the Postman application on the fly. Also, we had seen how we can navigate and look for a specific REST API and Oracle Fusion. For demonstration purpose, we had considered the projects. So, we have to navigate to cloud application. Project management is the module. This is the changing one at the time of recording. This is the latest version that is 24 denotes the year and D denotes the quarter in which you are accessing this API. So, the letter D is the last quarter in the year. That is the fourth quarter. Over here on the left hand side, we can search for the appropriate task for which we are looking for the API. For demonstration purpose, I will select get all projects. So, this is my project API. So, let me just copy this, open my Postman application. I will first of all create one API collection and I will name this as this is my API for project management. Click on enter. So, it will create a collection for me. Click on this and click on the add request. Here I will tell this is the project task. Get all project tasks. I can name like this. Get all project tasks. Now here I will copy and paste the relative URL which we got from this documentation. Now this is just the relative URL. We have to append it with the Fusion host. So let me just get the Fusion host from here. Let me just copy and go to the postman and paste it over here. Sorry, at the beginning we have to paste. That is over here. Then let me just click on send. So here it will tell you the 401 unauthorized. For example, you are logging into your Fusion instance with username password. We have to provide the same over here as well. Go to the authorization. From here we have to select the basic authentication. Provide the username password. Same with which you are logging into your Fusion instance. I have quickly populated my username and password over here. Let me just click on send. So you are getting the 200 OK message over here and in the response we will be getting the details of the projects which are accessible for the particular user whose credential you have provided under the authorization. So by default any Fusion API in Oracle that is in particular get all Fusion APIs will return only 25 records and we are having paginations. So you can make use of limit and offset and you can paginate and get all the projects available in the fusion also we are going to see instead of 25 if you are interested in getting 500 records in the response then how we can do that that and all we will learn in detail in our coming classes so in this class we had seen couple of things that is how we can create a project collection how we can create a request in the postman how we can access the get all projects api from the Oracle Fusion project management. Similarly, if you want to access any other APIs from here, like if you want to get a project attachments, so and so forth, thing, then you can go and have a look at this. Now, if your question is how we can make use of get a single project, then we can just copy this from here. First of all, save this project. Just click on this and click on duplicate. Here, instead of get all, let me name this as get one project. get one project click on enter in the relative url remove this and provide the one which we copied from the documentation now it is asking for the project id so we have to search for the project id from here let me just see for the project id what we have or oh, this is one of the ids let me just copy and get over here that is get a single project so project ID here it is nothing but it is the path parameter. So we have to provide the unique ID which is associated with the project. We call send. So here it will return only one object if you see the JSON. So this is just an object. In case of get all this was an array. If you see there was a square bracket and then we are getting a project details. So get all projects will return all the projects available or accessible for the particular user get single project which will be denoted by the particular project id so this is the unique identifier in the fusion which is associated for a particular project so in this case this id belongs to this project name let me just see so that is this for particular project name this project id belongs to so like this we can make use of get one or get all projects similarly you can look the documentation and consume the create project as well 
so in case of post we what we have to do is we have to just clone this duplicate and we can name this as create one project and here the http method will change to post so what oracle says over here we have to provide same and we have to change accordingly and coming to the body we can provide what is required for creating the project from here we can manually check click on this and we can see if something is required for this particular api now if you just further scroll down oracle will provide a sample request we can just copy from here and go over to the postman and in the body we can select raw json i think it didn't get copied let me just copy again and paste it over here if you want to just click on beautify so you can click on this so that it will arrange beautifully in your application click on send now we are unable to create this because we are getting 400 bad requests so it will be because of some of the operations or the values over here so as we copy pasted exactly same from our documentation here we are having few of the customer specific terms like the owning organization id so and so forth things like here owning organization id is 5186 which may not be the case in the fusion instance which you are using so you have to first of all change these template names organization id which are specific to a particular customer before creating a project so accordingly you have to provide and then click on send i have quickly modified the request payload and clicked on send i removed what is not necessary and clicked on send so it has created a project with the name something like this dummy and i have provided the proper organization id and the legal entity name for the fusion instance which i am creating so this is just a dummy payload what we have in order to create the project so the sample you can look for already created projects or any other response what you can usually do is when you are creating any task in the fusion you can search for one previously created task in fusion and get its data and when you are creating a project in this case what i did was i manually entered the legal organization id and the other details like the name by looking at the other projects from the get one or get all task api so usually those details like owning organization id legal name and other things which are needed for your project or any other task creation in fusion you will be getting those details from your business users or from the functional professionals or the consultants working in your project so it is not the technical thing so it is based on the setup what we do in the oracle fusion so you can reach out to your fusion functional consultants in order to get the data for one of these attributes so in this class we had seen three things that is how to create the connection how to make use of the fusion rest api that is to get all projects get a single project and also we had seen how we can make use of post that is to create a project so in our next class we will see how we can make use of the parameters available in the get all projects or any of the fusion api